Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. WA border opening date is March 3rd, as Mark McGowan announces new covered restrictions Western Australia's hard border will come down at 12.01am on Thursday, March 3rd, allowing triple-dose vaccinated arrivals from interstate to enter WA without quarantining. Key points. International arrivals will also be allowed in if they meet the Commonwealth requirements to enter Australia, and take a rapid antigen test within 12 hours of arrival and report any positive result. Premier Mark McGowan made the announcement as he conceded the virus is already here and we cannot stop its spread, with the state set to reach a peak of 10,000 new cases a day by the end of March. March 3rd will be a step forward for Western Australia, a safe step forward taken at the right time, in the right way, for the right reasons, Mr McGowan said. He said the border controls were still necessary while the state gets its vaccination levels up but they would no longer be effective by March 3rd. All interstate arrivals will be provided with RAT. Unvaccinated returning Australians flying into Perth would be capped at 70 per week and they would be required to undergo a week of quarantine in a hotel. In line with Commonwealth rules, unvaccinated international tourists will be banned. From 6 a.m. Monday, the indoor mask mandate is also set to be extended to apply to the entire state. At the same time Level 1 measures are due to come into effect for Perth, Peel, the South West, Great Southern, Wheatbelt and the Pilbara. These include a two-square-metre capacity limit for venues including forward-facing seated entertainment venues, such as theatres and cinemas, can have a 75% capacity as can major stadiums. Nightclubs must follow the two-square-metre rule, but crowds are capped at 500 people. The casino will have seated service requirements on the gaming floor in addition to the two-square-metre rule. The Premier said these rules would be disappointing to some operators but allowed major events, live music and hospitality venues to keep operating safely. It is important to note that standing consumption is still allowed and dancing is still allowed, Mr McGowan said. The Premier said the government would work out what compensation would need to be provided to affected businesses. Meanwhile, home gatherings will be capped at 30 people and private outdoor events not at the home will be capped at 200 people. The Premier also said people would not be required to work from home but workplaces were encouraged to take covered safe measures. Read more Mark McGowan also outlined Level 2 measures, which could be implemented at a later date if there were higher case numbers of the virus in the community. These would include the four-square-metre rule indoors, mask-wearing measures, in schools for years three and above, working from home for vulnerable people, and home gatherings reduced to a total of 10 people, he said. The Premier also revealed that, based on health advice, bottle shops would be removed from proof of vaccination requirements immediately. This is being done ahead of a review of other proof of vaccination and contact registration measures, given that we're re-entering the next phase of the pandemic, he said. The modelling suggests the state will reach a peak by the end of March of 10,000 new cases of COVID-19 each day. At the peak, 443 people are expected to be hospitalised in general hospital beds and another 53 people in intensive care. There are also expected to be four deaths per day during the peak. The total number of deaths is expected to reach between 134 and 146. I know this news will be confronting for many, as our successful management of the virus kept covered out of our state for so long, Ms Sanderson said. The Health Minister has promised to release the state government SO Micron modelling to the public early next week. Read more she said the modelling would be complete by then, but there was already data available within it to make the decisions announced on Friday. Ms Sanderson said the modelling suggested WAS hospital system, by making use of the private system too, would cope with the wave of Omicron cases. It will be tough, it is going to be a hard time. I am not going to dress it up. This is going to be really challenging for our community, because we have not seen high levels of covered cases, but we do have the beds. The Chief Health Officer, 
Andy Robertson, said he anticipated WA may fare better than the modelling suggests. We've a given some figures today, but we believe they are actually probably conservative and that our numbers will be lower than that, he said. Dr. Robertson said the modelling was quite accurate though as it was also based on data from WAS current outbreaks so far. He also warned that all outbreaks generally have a longer tail on the other side of a peak. Dr. Robertson said vaccine mandates had worked and encouraged people to get there.